Welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. Today we're looking at using the color enhancer inside of All One Photo Raw. Last week we looked at the color adjustment and this week we're going to take a photo from this right here and turn it into this. So stay tuned. So here we are inside of the color enhancer. And as you can see, I have made some adjustments uh, and I've thrown on a mask. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit reset on the mask and reset on the adjustment altogether to get us started. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the color enhancer as a whole. Up at the top, you have your mask, your renaming, all the normal options down to opacity. And then you get into the actual filter itself, which has an auto feature. What this is gonna try to do is detect any kind of color cast and remove it for you. This is probably the reason why you are going to select the color enhancer over the color adjustment is because you're trying to remove some sort of color cast that's in your white balance. Now, this and you wanna retain the ability to mask in or mask out the adjustment. This really comes in handy when you are building composite images and you have to get something to match the uh, background or foreground as closely as you can get it. All right. Now, just for a point of reference, if you come over to the develop module, just take a snapshot of this in your in your mind, color and purity. If you come over to the develop module, you'll see color and guess what? Purity. Now, you can absolutely do your white balance right here in the develop module. Uh, and that's the beauty of on one. If you don't want to overcomplicate your photo editing experience, you can click on develop and you will have access to some of the most basic features. But they're also very powerful and they work all the same, with the exception of the noise reduction inside of details. I don't know what's going on with that one. But if you come over here to effects, you can see that I have this color temperature. Now I'm going to hit auto just so it can detect a little bit of whatever color cast. And it looks like it needs to move the tint over into the magenta uh, tonal range. So it went ahead and did that. Now, obviously, if you have any type of skin in your photo, you may want to reduce the vibrancy inside of the skin. Uh, especially as you start to affect some of the colors down here. So just keep this in mind that you grab this particular tool when you want to adjust your white balance in combination with your color range. All right. Now, the next thing is purity. Now, purity is pretty cool because what it does is it protects the saturation inside of your highlights. So right now I'm down at zero, which means it is not protecting my highlights or shadows one bit. Uh, but if I click on orange, I'm going to move this over to the left a little bit and you can see the front of my truck. Uh, it starts to turn to a different color orange and I'm going to saturate it. So that way it's like super in your face and, and, you know, really nice and bold and punchy. And we'll zoom in here so you can really see this in action. Uh, pay attention to the ground for the highlights and then pay attention to the truck for the shadow, even though there are some highlights on the truck. I'm going to go ahead and pull the highlights up. And as you can see, it starts to remove some of that saturation. And as you get closer, it turns it more into a desaturated photo or look. Now, remember, you have the ability to mask this in however you need to. So you don't really have to worry about uh, affecting the rest of the image just because you decided to use the purity slider. All right. You can just pull this up to taste and then back it off or pull it all the way up and then back it off to taste. That's how I typically like to use uh, sliders that are this aggressive. And you can do the same thing with the shadows. I'll go ahead and pull the highlights down so you can see that independent. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and you're going to start to see the desaturation happen in the hood until it becomes this more muted orange. Right. Uh, but remember, this is not targeting just the orange. It's targeting everything around the image. It's targeting all of the 
shadows and highlights and whatnot around the image all right uh, but as you start to manipulate some of the colors maybe you want to keep your shadows or your highlights a little bit more genuine or true to how they were shot and this is where this really comes in it helps with the overall tonality of the image if you're using it globally across the entire image like i am now or if you're going to mask it in and then of course the color range this is the exact same tool as the color adjustment the only difference is really up above the break in between the presets and this dot uh, this black line here that separates the color adjustment or the color range section uh, from the color and the purity section now as you've seen in the uh, intro I'm gonna go ahead and make a mask the way I did that was just click on mask click on AI auto and with paint in I'm just going to paint over the grill of the vehicle and uh, because I don't want to do everything the exact same way all the time I'm going to paint over the entire front of the vehicle instead of just the hood and it's okay if I go out a little bit uh, the goal here is really just to show you that you have the ability to mask in everything that you want now obviously I need to come down to the reflection and get the reflection because if you don't get the reflect the uh, can't talk if you don't get the reflection then that is your business but I would like to get the reflection so I'm just gonna come around the outside of the image and I think this is going to make a pretty decent selection as I just come around the outside here so I'm not even gonna try and go in between the vehicles I'm just gonna go ahead and hit apply and yeah it made a pretty decent selection good enough for what we're doing today I'm gonna go ahead and hit done and you'll see that it's really just gonna focus on the front of those vehicles or on the front of the vehicle the reflection and the actual vehicle I'm gonna go to my reds and again uh, I'll probably decrease the range here and I'm just gonna boost the red a little bit because you know there's some reds in in, in this truck or this van uh, and I think that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is because the color enhancer is one effect, you can add in multiple color enhancers or what I'm going to reach for is the color adjustment. So that way you can see them kind of working side by side. Now I want to affect the blue sky. So I'm going to click on blue sky and I'm just going to really crank up the saturation in the sky. That may be a little too much for some people's taste, but that's what I'm going to do for today's uh, video. So now I have my blue sky filter involved and you guessed it. I'm going to throw in a mask. I'm going to go ahead and grab my masking bug and with linear bottom selected, I'm just going to click on the horizon and I'll just drag this on down until I get to a place where I think I'm ready to transition it uh, grab the wrong piece there I was grabbing my adjustment tool alright so now I have the sky only at the top and nothing at the bottom and then I'm going to grab one more color adjustment and this one is going to go over the bottom here and I just want to desaturate that orange just a little bit more so now I'm gonna grab linear top and I'm going to click right about here go ahead and bring this in so that way it's a fairly uh, slow tra or fast transition and then I'm going to click on orange again and this time I'm just going to pull saturation down and I'm going to darken it up a little bit so that way the reflection doesn't stand out quite as much so we went from that bright of a bottom to something that's a little bit more desaturated. Now that I see what's happening in the trees here, maybe what I'll do is click on the brush and click on opacity. And we'll go somewhere like that. And maybe bring my flow down. And what I'm going to do is hit shift or I'm sorry let's just decrease this and I'll click 
and drag over these trees just a little bit so they retain a little bit more of their color. Maybe one more pass over the trees. So now, when we take a look at the mask here, super detailed work, yay. But the effect is what I was really going for, is really just muting the vehicle and not so much the trees or anything else around it. So hopefully you found today's video helpful. If you did, smash the like button. If you're into on one content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I produce videos on a very regular and consistent basis, all centered around on one photo raw as well as other photo editing applications. So if you're interested, yeah, just smash that subscribe button. Now, if you're looking to get a copy of on one photo raw in the description box below, there will be a link that will take you to a page. You can download it for free, try it out. And if you happen to purchase through that link, then this channel does get a little bit of uh, assistance and no extra cost to you. All right. So until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.